Hey guys, so today we're going to be uh, discussing, discussing how to create victory points in Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, like and subscribe and let's get, let's get on with the video. And so first, you're going to want to upload a mod or create a mod file. So let's create a mod and we're just going to be naming this one Series Test. The version, it doesn't matter what version you put, but I'm just going to put the game version. And a directory to simplify it. So, city test. And you're going to see this. This is um, for creating mods on Steam. So, let's see, map. All right. And it's going to ask you to do this no, stuff. Uh, oh, my. Now that this is being uploaded, we can add this to our playset. City test is going to see this. As you can see, there is almost nothing here, though. So what we're going to have to do next is um, let's see. you're going to want to open the Hearts of Iron 4 in your, do in your documents. You'll find it in your documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4. So go to mod and then go to your file, which is what you named it. And see the descriptor only? So you're going to need to copy over some files. Now go to your uh, Hearts of Iron 4 uh, from Steam. Should be in whatever you downloaded Hearts of Iron 4 on. And find history. Copy history. Paste it into here. and find localization copy it paste it into here you no longer need this so we're going to be adding let's see we're going to be adding baton rouge louisiana so open localization english and scroll down until you find Let's see, victory points English. You'll find all this. Scroll to the bottom and here. All right, next, go ahead and go to history, states. So you're going to need to find um, the state that your city is supposed to be in. So let's go ahead and open Hearts of Iron Ford to find that out. Say we're not going to be using the nudger for this one because I don't feel like it. You can if you want to, but I'm trying to make this simple. So once you're in here, go press, go to the console and press T debug. So let's find where Baton Rouge should be right here. And so you'll see that the state is 371. So let us go to state 371, Louisiana. And you're going to see this right here. Victory points, num uh, the province ID, and how much it's worth. You can go ahead and copy this. And you can paste it again right here. Since this it's in the same state and all you really need to do is just change this number right here to whatever it was in Baton Rouge, which was 4535. 4535. Change the number here. Um, if it's anything less than 10, it's going to be a square. If it's 10, no, no. Yeah, if it's 10, it'll be a pentagon. And if it's 20, it'll be a circle. So we're going to make this a 5. Go ahead and save this. And now we need to go to the localization. Uh, this is why I like Windows 10 more, since you can merge tabs. Copy this very first one right here. Paste. Uh, you're going to notice that there's actually a space right here, so be wary of that. 
then right here, put the province ID, 4535, put the name here in the print, in the uh, quotations. So Baton Rouge. And when we relaunch the game, it should be there. All right, so you'll notice that when you relaunch the game, Baton Rouge is here. Though you're going to notice it may be a little bit off depending on the size of the province ID or the province in general. Um, I'm not actually sure how to change this, but I do believe that you can change this using the Nudger. Um, you, the Units tab in Nudger. But we're not going to go over that right now. We'll be over that when the province tutorial is on. So, easy. And uh, you may be wondering though, what about capitals? How do you make capitals? So, I'm going to be using Canada for my example. So, in order to designate a capital, you're going to need to find the city with a larger victory point. For example, Ottawa has a score of 20, while Toronto has a score of 10. However, if you made Toronto score 25, for example, Toronto would become the capital and Ottawa would just be a city. If you wanted to change the capital to a completely different state like Vancouver, uh, countries, go to countries and scroll down to the country ID. In our case, it will be Canada. Find Canada and why don't you and find the state that Vancouver is in, of which it will be let's use our debug tool again. Six oh um no four seven three. So all you need to do is just change this capital number to 473 and you have a new capital. And um, that's all. Sometimes you may struggle with states that just don't have any cities already when you need to copy and paste the victory point. So in order to help out with that, let me show you. Why is my computer so slow today? Let me show you how to do that real quick. It's just, so let's choose a random state here. Any state. It's 878. There's definitely not one here. Katong City. So, you'll find yourself that there is no victory point in this state. That is fine. All I Normally what I would do is I copy it over from a state that has a victory point, and I just copy it right in front of the state category. Wait, no, not there. And I forgot. Just copy it in front of the history tab is what you want to do. So, right here actually. And there should be one here now. Obviously, add in your localization file. And that's everything you need to know about victory points, I think. Let me just compare here to make sure I'm doing this right. I've only been doing this for half a year. <laughs> yep, you'll see. You know you've got it right when it looks right. Owner, so be it. Huh? Yeah, it should work. So, that's all. This is a very confusing tutorial because I'm very new at this, so hopefully this will get better over time. And, um, have a good day. I have a Discord. Be in the description. I have a mod. Be in the description. And like and subscribe, and have a good day. The end.